Let's work with some comments and the comment feature within the Foxit PDF files. Uh, the document I have open here looks like an ordinary file, and I can go across the comment ribbon, and I can add a note, and when I click, it allows me to type a note. And of course, we can change the options on here. We could change what this looks like to an X or a check mark or whatever we like. And we can also change the color here. If we would prefer a different color, we can change the color. Now you can see my comment is here. But there could be other comments. Let's go from the comment ribbon and use the drop down where it says Manage Comments and Show All. And we can see by hovering that other people have commented on this document. So we have Mary, we have Bert, and we have ourselves within here. Let's go back up and let's go to Comments and Hide All. I'm having a hard time navigating. There we go. Now let's go to Manage Comments again and pop up Notes and Open All and then we can see all of the different pop-ups as we go through. Now something else we can also do is summarize the comments. And when I summarize, I have my choices. Document and comments with sequence numbers on separate pages or comments only. So it'll just be a list of comments. Comments with the document connectors on separate pages document and comments with connector lines on single pages. So we have some choices. We're going to do comments only. We're going to take all of the comments from all of the pages, including pages containing no comments, and I'm going to say OK. And we wait. Now, notice we see the Bert comment, the Carol, and the Mary comment on page 1. And if I scroll down, I see the comments on page 2, and then the other pages, there are no comments. And I can also come up here, and I can export those to another format. All of my comments as an FDF file. And that's how we can work with comments within our Foxit PDF.